six. Are you available? Copy. 240 negative? Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Try that crumpet shop off Post Alley. Thanks, 303. Copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. Jeez, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be all right. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, uh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's dad, he wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a 10 year old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party. What? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So, so what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man. 
We need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you want to hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are don't you doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Whoa, good drawing, Lila. Daniel's teacher would be proud of you. Ha! The pretentious artist has spoken. Don't fall asleep before me tonight, or you might see more of my skills. <laughs> you wish. Oh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. Hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure, but I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey! No fair. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. 
Yes, I heard Tattletale. Hmm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week or your poor suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. You're both guilty of wasting my time. Case closed. What? No fair. Dad. Dad, Dad. What is this? Mm. My own flesh and blood tosses me under the bus. He sucks. Okay. Back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together. Like you always do. Yeah. After the work in my room, too. Yeah? Don't hurry back. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party list started. It's good to be the judge. That's right. Que pendejo. It's nice going jogging with Dad every once in a while. Though he's way too chatty. Better pack for the party. Dad flips out if I don't pick up my stuff, but Danny leaves his shit all over. I'm not that into cars, but these are pretty bitching. Dad hates sushi, but he orders it anyway for us. I could just stay home and binge Top Gear with Dad and Daniel, but <laughs> not tonight. I don't know who plays more, Daniel or Dad. Daniel spends hundreds of hours yelling into the mic playing Minecraft with Noah. Jeez, how old is this? We've had it since I was 10. What if Jen came over? Mm, we can build a fire and... <sighs> Dude, stop. If things go well, should I bring Jen back here? Maybe Dad won't like her, or she won't like him. Or worse, she could get along with Daniel. Dude, stop. I'm not even dating her. Yet.
At least I don't have to help Daniel out with math. Thanks, Dad. He was so proud to get that. He should be. Will Dad actually take us there one day? <laughs> Doubt it. Damn. The guy never stops working. <laughs> Daniel kept saying, I'm freezing, but we couldn't get him off the skis. That'll do. Bet there's gonna be a keg at the cabin. <laughs> Man, Daniel could live off this crap. Don't forget the non-booze. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. Yo, cookies. Dad is like a big kid. He gets so hyped for Halloween. Gotta bring some munchies. Hope there's also, like, real food at this party. What the? Is Dad baking something? Damn, Lila's so hyped up for tonight. Better hurry. Meet the Diaz, organization experts. Real funny, Dad. Dad tries so hard to get on a healthy diet. I can't wait for him to be on Instagram. Yo, Dad's secret recipe Fucking rules, actually. Daniel better not use my toothbrush again. Hey, Jan. What's up? Oh, try again, loser. Hey, you look totally hot. Oh my god, stop. Oh. Hey, you wanna share my blanket? Hey, Jen. Do you wanna hang out sometime? Not bad. Remember, don't be too thirsty. Come on, open up. Why? Because. Okay, okay. What are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? You ate my choco Chris. Don't be pissed. You always see the whole box. What's with the scissors? You'll see, but not now. So don't come in. Okay, fine. Don't tell me. After all, I'm only your big brother, who looks after you and takes care of you. Stop it. All I can say is, watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is gonna be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. Did she ask about me? Ah, 
I'm sorry, dude. She's cheating on you. Shut up! And I don't even care if I can't go. Because... Because I have secret stuff to do. Alone. Of course you do. Daniel's always up to something. Wonder what's next. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? Can't believe Dad actually asked me to tag up this wall. Well, of course, he asked Daniel too. That you, Choco Thief? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure, can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, uh, shoot, must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi, friend. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Ugh. Remind me never to get old. Hey, it beats the alternative. Is that it? Hey, yes, that's the one. That was quick. So you did learn something from your old man after all. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care as long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while too. And you happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh, come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Jean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um... By the way... Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 ah. Shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Uh, come on. I wouldn't spend money on booze. We just want to get some, uh, some Halloween crap and stuff. Well, then you definitely don't need the $40 I was going to give you. Twenty bucks? That's it? You can buy a lot of Halloween crap and stuff for twenty bucks. Unless you're lying your ass off. Remember, no eating candy and driving. You got it? Tell Lila too. You hear me? <sighs> yes, sir. Yeesh. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, 
Did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home. Would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun. But not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood. Even though he won't tell. It'll be weird having my own car. But then I could take Jen out. If she wants. I would be fucked if I had to help Dad in the shop. Dad is actually kind of a secret geek. Maybe a nerd. Dad used to go see them all the time. Can old people be... cool? Running the garage was Dad's dream. I'm proud of him. Honestly. Dad's had this forever. I'm glad he doesn't make us go to church. The saw almost took my thumb off once. Dad should just sell that other bike. How long is he gonna keep all this shit? Daniel destroyed our old nativity scene. Sorry, baby Jesus. I'm sure dad won't miss one blanket for the night. Looks like I got it. Dad said we could go to Mount Baker this year. The trails are insane. We almost got caught by a crazy old dude. But it was such a blast. This was such a cool day. Can't wait to go back out there with the crew. Asshole. Man. I so don't want to work this weekend. Very funny, Lila. Good thing my boss has a sense of humor. Kind of. Eric got us some purple last month. It was fucking insane. Lila provides the weed tonight. I better be ready. My first hangover. Dad laughed at me so hard when I came back home. I still have like 10 books left in the series. I won't finish until I'm 20. Oh, hi Gunther. Sorry. You stay hidden here. Dad wants me to keep this junk as backup. Right. We... Got these for free during sex ed last year. <sighs> Not sure Daniel was ready to be an uncle yet. I think I know what to ask for Christmas. I should practice instead of putting it up here. But it looks pretty rad. I'll never make varsity at this rate. 
told them not to take a picture of me after the race. <laughs> I look like a sweaty pig. Thanks, Daniel. I'll, uh, treasure this gift always. I really like that one. <laughs> I don't totally suck. <laughs> that would be... That would cut my arm off if I got a tat like that. But when I turn 18... Time to get in the mood for tonight. Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Okay. Don't be a stalker, Sean. Man, this is taking forever. Oh my god. The internet was a mistake. Lila will survive if I take five to practice my drawing. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. Turn your life on the flip of this coin. Turn upside the choice you normally avoid. And promise me, follow what it says. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Again, walk within the trusted beach or swim the swell of the sea. And again, the scary alternative looked like certain death to he. The lighting is nice. It's been a while since I've sketched my room. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Blue-eyed girls were waiting and he was drowning in the spray. Blue-eyed girls you should be acquainted with, but for shouting and flailing. Turn your life my room almost looks cool on this. Not an easy task. <laughs> Good job. He finally slugs it back to land, feeling chewed up and foolish. Empties his pockets on the sand, spewing a pool each. How many times have I watched it? Not enough. So he says, Why did you have me follow the stupid rule, please? Finally, ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. boy. Just give me a minute. Ooh, good tune. Getting in the mood for tonight, huh? <laughs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so we're set for the night, in case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else. Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? Well... I don't know. Play it cool, talk about the gig last week, get to know her tastes. Oh, oh my god. You did rehearse your moves for tonight. You're totally into her. <sighs> so what? I don't have any game. These are uncharted territories for me. You're super cute. 
Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean, I'm done, look. I made zombie blood. It's um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just uh, Just bugging the uh, shit out of what? me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, what? I know. Anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? But... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. Sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to him. He knows I can be a dick. I'm just stressed out about tonight. No, oh, please. We're gonna have so much fun. Maybe tonight's the night... Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time, don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Ooh, shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Hey, are you listening to me? Um, you know something called multitasking? <laughs> That's a girl thing, no? Whoa, her hair. Whoa, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh, you will see. OMG, you gave her an LOL? <laughs> that is a ballsy move. So what? I'm a funny guy. Are you? I better warn her. Leave me alone. I'll call my dad. Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz. He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt! Look! I told you, it was an accident! You better leave us alone! Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage. Pussies. You think you own the block? Dude, step back! He didn't mean it! He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you want to go? Oh, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. <laughs> Whoa. Sean, you hit him. Get inside now. Sean! You're dead meat, bitch. <sighs> <sighs> You and your whole fucking family are going to jail, losers! What? What's oh, going fuck on? me! Daniel, get over here! Sean! Is he hurt? Okay! Okay, step away! Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! <laughs> on the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating me. up my little brother! Ground. Now! Hands behind your Sean. head! Sean! This is fucking bullshit! Oh no. Sean! What's Get happening? Get the ground! Sir. Dad! We didn't do Sean, anything! Sean, be quiet! I swear! Officer, Dad, Sean, listen! Up. I'm sorry, Dad! Daddy! Be quiet! I wanna go home! They're good kids, Officer! Don't move! I'm sure they didn't do I anything! I said don't move! Nothing! We didn't Daniel, do anything! It's gonna be alright! On the ground!
No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. These shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being, being in a home or, or in your room. This is a, a real adventure, right? So, come on, let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you, okay? Okay, but I'm so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know, I know. Hey, at least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome possum. But next time, Dad better get me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, a Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once, huh? Uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and no. run! You're it! No way! Not fair! Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you! Blah!
we there yet? Dude, stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp out. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. Oh, look! Man, a car it's out here? So dirty. Hope the driver isn't around watching us. Welcome to Nowhere, Washington. Hmm. Um, I see something. What is that? I'm coming. What do you find? Check it out. There's a chunky chocolate crisp bar on the dashboard. Yeah, I see it. You know I love chocolate crisp bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. More like two days ago. Come on. Can we please, please, please get one when we stop next? Please? I promise. Yeah! And you can wash it down with a frosty root beer later, okay? But I'm starving. Just don't eat me. Now we can see where we are. Cool. There's a river nearby. A river? Are we gonna go swimming? No. There must have been a big ass storm. Ooh. Duh. Landslide. It's way it too cold for a skinny good. butt. Should be fine. <sighs> I don't know. I guess they missed that car. What if the owners come after us? And they're hunters. You're too little to hunt. We're cool. Daniel, check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze, and people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. If only Dad was here. Ow. No reception in this shithole. Come on, Daniel. The sun is going down. <sighs> okay, dude. Do you have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? As long as you don't mind the poison ivy on your balls. Uh, well, maybe I'll go. But don't let me get stuck in there. Don't worry. I'll call the forest plumbers if you fall in. Especially after you use it. Sean? Look how big these trees are. Eh, that's only because they need the sun. Besides, they'll protect us from the rain. What if they don't? What if they... Uh, attack us? Aren't you Mr. Minecraft? I thought you loved the forest. I watched you build giant cities out of logs. I did. I built the biggest cities ever. Ooh. I can use my axe to chop up some wood. Then we can build a secret base. Well, sounds like you're ready for the woods. Lead the way. Dad always knew exactly where to go. 
He was a living compass.